battery, it's just annoying me. And I'm too about it. And the dirt that they do on my name turn to soil, and I grew about it. Time for y'all to figure out what y'all gon' do about it. Big wheels keep rolling, rolling. I'm outside, 29, G5, Seaside. I've been losing friends in five. Well, you can do what you wanna live how you wanna spend what you wanna be who you wanna be. We all stutter to la dia. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Barbie Sacks, the big one, not the little one. If you are a turn subscriber, welcome back, baby. If you are new here, do not forget to hit that subscribe button because we live here in that song, period, okay? <laughs> Today's Valentine's Day, y'all. Your girl over here trying to get ready, trying to get right. You feel what I'm saying? Because your girl got a date <laughs> two times in a row. Two times in a row. <laughs> now, let me stop playing, y'all. But right now, I am trying to fly out my hair because this, this right here is a hot mess, okay? It's a hot mess, y'all. One thing I'm trying to do, I don't know if y'all noticed yet or not, but one thing that I am trying to do, well, trying to stop doing is cursing because YouTube is not playing. <laughs> YouTube is not playing with your girl. Like when I tell y'all, they really like cracking down. Like they really like cracking down for real, for real. Like I know a couple of my videos had got like flagged because I was cursing. So your girl's really trying to stop cursing. Honestly, cursing is just something that's embedded in me. Like, like it's not on me, it's in me. Like literally, like <laughs> I'm just so freaking excited about today. I already know what we have planned and stuff, but it's the fact that it's Valentine's Day. You know what I'm saying? It's time to show Barbie Stacks how much you love Barbie Stacks. Do you feel me? It is time to show Barbie Stacks how much you love Barbie Stacks. So that's what we're going to do today on this lovely Valentine's Day. Okay, period. <laughs> period. I'm so excited about getting my gifts as well, y'all. I love language is receiving. I love receiving gifts, y'all. I love, love, love. Like, I'm not going to say my love language is receiving. My love language is gifts. I love a gift. Like, when I say love, love a gift. Definitely a material girl. Like, it is what it is. Material girl, I want Chanel now boots. Oh, material girls. And I get it from my Mimi Balmain. Bust down these. Can't stand me. Material girl. Yeah. <laughs> material girl. That's me. For sure. For sure. So, I love gifts, y'all. I don't know what it is, but if a person give me a gift, like, I feel like you love me, like, for real, for real. And not just any gifts. Like, the gift have to have some type of thought into it. You feel what I'm saying? Don't go to no dollar store. Don't give me no cheap little bed, no $1 card, and put $5 in it and be like, happy Valentine's Day. Eh, eh. Uh-uh. Absolutely not. We not doing the bare minimum over here. I need you to go to Saks Fifth. Nah. <laughs> not playing. But for real, though, I need you to put some thought into that gift. Like, what? <laughs> what? Like, please okay. today's plans are to go out to eat and just chill out we had got us a hotel so we're really just gonna exchange gifts and just you know what i'm saying spend time with each other like the people out there who don't have a Valentine's this year y'all honestly truthfully i know i'm hyping it up and making it seem like the best thing in the world and don't get me wrong it is nice to feel loved it is like every, at the end of the day we are people and we need to feel love but for the people who don't have Valentine's this year it's not serious like it's really not. What a person can do for you, you can do for yourself, honestly. Like, yeah, it feels good for a person to go all, all out their way and do for you. Don't get me wrong. It does feel good. But if you don't have a Valentine's this year, do not beat yourself up. Like, please do not beat yourself up because at the end of the day, you are your own Valentine's, okay? It's been plenty of years where I did not have a Valentine's and I took myself out to eat. I bought myself flowers. I bought myself gifts. And it was like, okay, I don't have a Valentine's this year, but I'm going to be my own Valentine's. So, so do not beat yourself up. If you do not have a Valentine's Day this year, baby, let it be what it be. It'll always be another year, okay? It'll always be another year. Yes, it feels good to be loved. Yes, it feels good for a person to do for you. But at the end of the day, be your own Valentine's, okay? Be your own Valentine's first. Because at the end of the day, yes, I have a Valentine this year, but I'm my own Valentine's first. You feel what I'm saying? Well, let me tell y'all about this club, okay? <laughs> let me tell y'all about my home club that I'm really, like, honestly, truly not feeling no more, y'all. And when I say my time is coming to an end there, my time is coming to an end. So I want to say, like, last week, it was, like, on a Wednesday. Last week, they had through a mandatory meeting, and they said if you didn't show up, that there was going to... Oh, sh <laughs> I was about to drop my flowers. <laughs> but... Yeah, so they had said if you didn't attend the meeting that they was going to fire you. So in my head, I'm thinking this better be serious for you to fire the whole strip club industry over a meeting, right? But you know me, I still didn't go. I don't really care. I still didn't go because on a Wednesday, like I'm, I don't got time to be at no strip club on a Wednesday, especially if the club ain't open on a Wednesday on a normal day. So I didn't go. 
basically the meeting was about rules that was going to change right but the only rule that changed that really had your girl mind like what was when they had said we don't have to start tipping the sweepers five dollars minimum so my whole thing is it's cool to tip you know the sweepers and people who look out for you you know what i'm saying i'm big on look out for the people who look out for you but my whole thing is they want us to tip the dj the host twenty dollars each y'all so that's forty dollars right there pay tip out that's eighty dollars right there and pay every sweeper in there at least five dollars like y'all do the math okay you do the math like that's way too much money and it's not like they're putting it in our hands to give it to them they're taking it out of our money before they give us our money like what i'm just like at this point it's way too much because y'all want us to tip the djs tip the sweepers tip y'all and give y'all 10 percent at the end of the night like y'all doing too much i think it's definitely coming to an end there because it's just way too much. I just feel like I'm working for nothing at this point. Like, I'm working my butt off just to give everybody my money. Like, it don't make sense. And you hired them sweepers. You paid them. Like, why we have to pay every single sweeper? Like, are you serious? Every single sweeper? So what about the sweepers that didn't do nothing the whole night but sit down and pop purse all night? We supposed to tip them too? Like, absolutely not. We're not doing it. Like, we are not. We're not doing it. Absolutely not. Like, at this point, it's robbery. Like, you're robbing me at this point, okay? And I'm, mm -mm, I do the finessing over here. Ain't nobody finessing me. So, your girl is trying to find another home club, y'all. Bear with me. They take too much money out of our bag. Like, I don't like that. Like, it's one thing to try to get you, but it's another thing to be greedy. You feel what I'm saying? I hate that greedy stuff. Like, at this point, I just need to move to Miami. I love Miami. I want to be at Miami, okay? <laughs> Period, because Miami be showing off for you, girl. Every time I go out there, like, I get so much love, like, so much love. And, like, I literally have to deal with zero BS, like, literally zero. But for the fact that they give me BS, it's like, I don't I don't need this. I really honestly don't, because it's clubs that will, will really appreciate you. You feel what I'm saying? You really just got to find that club. I feel like everything should just be easy. Like, it should just flow naturally. Like, just let me make my money and go home. Like, why are you making this hard for me? Like, <laughs> why are you making this hard for me? Oh, okay, it's giving <laughs> bust down Tatiana. Yeah, oh, this is all in my face. Y'all, when I tell y'all this is bone straight, baby, it's giving bone straight, it's giving Indian. Okay, it's giving Brazilian. I'm trying to get ate like a mango. Do you hear me? <laughs> Do you hear me? Yeah, this is giving everything it's supposed to give. Like, yes, let me show y'all. Y'all see it? Like, yeah, mm hmm yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but y'all, let me hurry up. I gotta hop on this road because I gotta go check into this hotel. So I'm gonna see y'all when I get to the room. <laughs> to drink us some wine all right so we can feel real good real sexy y'all already know what's going on show the people what we about to drink so we got some sweet waters blackberry wine mm -hmm. hitting if you never tried it try it it's only like ten dollars okay so we about to drink some of this and get right you ready yes, <laughs> yeah i like me to drink <laughs> <laughs> okay, baby. Time. Oh, right. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you. <laughs> to my lady. To my baby. Yeah. <laughs> you want that like a shot? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm on my grown and sexy. <laughs> I'm my grown and sexy. Yeah. Good morning, you guys. So today's the next day, and let me just tell y'all about yesterday. <laughs> let me just tell y'all about yesterday. So your girl had a mother time last night okay i had a time last night that was like one of the best valentine's day 
I've had in the history of Valentine's Day. Like when I say Shorty showed out, Shorty definitely showed out. And y'all don't mind my hair, okay? Because your girl just got up or whatever, just got out the shower and didn't even do my hair. So we're not even going to talk about the hair, okay? <laughs> we're not going to talk about the hair, but your girl had so much fun yesterday. I'm not trying to sound like a simp or nothing. <laughs> I'm not trying to sound like a simp, but I love love. You feel what I'm saying? Like, and it's so crazy because like, I, I just remember back in the day, I was so anti-love. Like, I was like, when it comes to love, I don't want no parts. You feel what I'm saying? Absolutely no parts. But honestly, like when you find that right one, like keyword one, because it can't be two, one, like it'll really open your eyes and make you look at love like in a different light like love is actually beautiful you feel what i'm saying and on top of that love is easy love isn't difficult love isn't hard you feel what i'm saying people make it hard that's because they don't really love you you feel what i'm saying love is easy it's in a bible like it's in a bible like that's how you know it's real like i'm not making this up out the crack of my butt like love is easy love is kind like love should not be difficult like like it's just so crazy because sometimes i just think back on um, previous relationships I've been in and stuff like that. And I'm just like, dang, like, why couldn't this person love me the way I wanted them to love me? You feel what I'm saying? Why was our relationship so difficult? Why we always argued all the time? Why we could never get along? Why we used to always fight? Why we used to do this? Why we used to do that? Why? Da, 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 da. But whole time, that's because that was not my person. You feel what I'm saying? That was a trial and error. And that person's not for you. We had ended up actually staying in. We was going to go out to eat and stuff like that. But we actually ended up staying in, y'all. We had ordered us some wings. <laughs> we had ordered us some wings and we was drinking wine. It was a ghetto Valentine's. But it was a Valentine's and it was a month time. Okay? It was a month time. Last night, guess it was. <laughs> but um, I ain't going to say ghetto. Like, it was just ghetto, ghetto. But I'm just saying, like, the wings, I ain't going to lie. That was kind of ghetto. <laughs> But that's what I felt like eating. You know what I'm saying? I could have ate anything I wanted, honestly, truthfully. If I wanted filet mignon, I could have had filet mignon, okay? But your girl wanted wings, so that's what she got me, period. <laughs> period. Like, what? You, what? Oh, okay. Oh, I need to show y'all my purse that she had got me for Valentine's Day because she know I love purses. Like, one thing about Barbie, if you don't know what to get me for a gift, get me a purse. Get me a purse, baby. I love me a purse. I love me a purse. So she had got me a purse for um Valentine's Day, y'all. And y'all wanna know what's so crazy? I was drinking wine yesterday and I did not even get drunk. Like I damn near drunk the whole bottle and I was not even tipsy, like not even a little bit. Like I'm just like at this point, I should have got some Taylor port, okay? I should got me some Taylor port because that right there. That wine that I was drinking did not even get me messed up. Like, not even a little bit. Like, I was, I felt like I was drinking water. That's how sober I was off that wine. I should have got me some teleport. Because one thing about teleport, teleport going to do it every single time. This time, the next time, last time, every single time, okay? <laughs> I should have got me some teleport. But it's all cool, though, because I still enjoy myself. I say she has me spoiled. I mean, spoiled, okay? Spoiled. <laughs> Let me show y'all my baby. <laughs> Let me show y'all the purse she had got me. <laughs> Oh, y'all so this is the bag my purse had came in and she did her little one two three she kind of boyish so she ain't really like tapped into her feminine side for real to know how to really decorate but you know what i'm saying it's the thought that count it's the thought that count so she had put it in this cute little bag y'all and you already know your girl got her another tell feezy all right y'all so this is the color tefler bag that your girl had got this is like an olive green earth tone green it's definitely giving y'all this is so freaking cute like what the <gasps> yeah stop playing with your girl so <laughs> this is so cute y'all i freaking love this color like i love earth tone colors like i'm not really big on like highlighted neon type of colors like i'm i like them earth tone colors because they really just be giving everything they're supposed to get i need to order me some um olive green dunk lows to go with this bag because one thing about me my shoes have to match my bag okay if i'm wearing a color bag my shoes have to match the bag like absolutely have to or i'm not gonna want to wear it like <laughs> at all I also got me some flowers and balloons and edible arrangements, y'all. So, yeah, your girl is definitely satisfied, okay? <laughs> but like I said, don't ever forget this, all right? If Barbie ain't never taught you nothing, I'm going to teach you something right now, okay? Love is easy. Say it with me. Love is easy. Love is not hard, okay? If a person love you, they will go out their way to show you that they love you. And don't ever let nobody anybody treat you less than what you are you have to know your worth you have, you have to know who you are you have to know that i am her you feel what i'm saying like you are going to respect me like you're not going to play with me you feel what i'm saying you are going to treat me like the queen i am 
no if ands about it and if you don't get right you can get left like straight up and down like that's really how you gotta you know what i'm saying present yourself to the table but you really have to present yourself such as as if you're gonna treat me the way i want to be treated like you're gonna treat me like the woman that i want to be treated like if you don't get right you will get left straight up and down like but anyways y'all your girl about to chill out because i got like another hour so i gotta check out and i'm honestly trying to catch me some z's because your girl had a time last night Oh me, then I show my face in a case, so you know it's me. Imitation is a flattery, it's just annoying me. And I'm too about it. And the dirt that they do on my name turn to soil, and I grew about it. Time for y'all to figure out what y'all gon' do about it. Big wheels keep rolling, rolling. I'm outside, 29, G5, Seaside. I've been losing friends and finding peace. But honestly, that sounds like a fair trade to me. If I ever heard one, and I'm still here outside, front line, south side. I've been losing friends and finding peace. Honestly, that sounds like a fair trade to me. Look, don't invite me over if you throw another pretty party. Looking back, it's hard to tell you where I started. I don't know who loved me, but I know that it ain't everybody. I can never love her, she a busybody. Baby, if you want me, can't be turning up with everybody. Nah, can't be fucking on this anybody. Yeah, I got feelings for you, that's the thing about it. Yeah, you know that it's something when I sing about it. Yeah, mama used to be on disability, but gave me this ability. And now she walking with her head high and her back straight. I don't think you're feeling me, I'm out here being everything they said I wouldn't be, it couldn't be. Said it would be. I said, see you at the top, and they misunderstood me. I hold no resentment in my heart, that's that maturity. And we don't keep it on us anymore, it's with security. I'm outside, 29, G5, Seaside. I've been losing friends and finding peace. But honestly, that sounds like a fair trade to me. If I ever heard one, and I'm still here outside, front line, south side. I've been losing friends and finding peace. So your girl's back from Atlanta and I am sad. I'm sad, okay? <laughs> but um, your girl's back from Atlanta, y'all. And honestly, I only went out there to go to the mall, like literally. Like I didn't go out there for literally anything else. I was gonna um try to do this um this activity game called Beat the Bomb, but the reason why I couldn't do that was because you needed four people and I was only out there with one other person and myself, so that's two, okay? So your girl couldn't even do the Beat the Bomb thing, which I was kind of down about, but I was like, you know what? Everything happens for a reason. I'm not gonna stress about it. But your girl is back at home, y'all, and I am just so freaking tired. I don't know, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I love traveling. I love going places, love seeing new things, love doing new things, but traveling is so tiresome. Like, I love what comes with traveling, but the actual act of doing it, it's tiring like it actually really truly honestly is <laughs> like your girl side i just want to say thank you to all my supporters y'all y'all are truly the best like when i say the best the absolutely best y'all and i'm not even gonna lie like lately i haven't been as consistent as i've been that doesn't mean that you know i'm falling off of youtube or my passion for it has like drained or anything like that because it honestly haven't it's just been life you feel what i'm saying like literally just that it's kind of like every time like i get the mind of oh my god i haven't posted in a week like uh, they're gonna stop supporting me they're gonna oh uh, they're gonna leave every time i have that crazy thought y'all show me that i'm wrong every single time y'all like okay barbie we get it you're going through things you're human you feel what i'm saying if you don't post more than such and such amount of time we get it like y'all are literally <laughs> literally like the best humans i've ever came across like the absolutely best and i just want to say i love you guys so much i love y'all for rocking with me i love y'all for sticking on the side of me i love y'all for understanding me even before i even try to explain to y'all why i haven't posted in a certain amount of time or why i went i ain't gonna say ghost but why i didn't post in two weeks or however whatever it's like y'all already understand before i even explain myself and that's what makes y'all so dope like Honestly, truthfully, that's what makes y'all so dope. <laughs> so dope, y'all. I love y'all so much. 
y'all and don't talk about my bonnet on my head okay i gotta get my hair done i got my straight backs in right now so it's giving felicia <laughs> it's giving felicia but i love you guys so much and i will see y'all in my next video